for those of us who were fortunate enough to know Dr. Esther Wilkins, we know that she was passionate about several things. Of course, the first thing she was passionate about was her textbook. She was very passionate about fluoride, and she was passionate about ADHA. I was fortunate enough to get to know her for about 45 years. First 25 in mostly a distant communication. The last 20 years of her life and my life, she has played a major part in my life. One of those things was to make sure that I was active on a local level, on a state level, and on a national level of ADHJ. And if you've ever got to sit down and talk to her, maybe one minute into the conversation she would ask you, especially if you were done my dentist, if you are a member of ADHJ, she wanted to know also what part did you play in your local component? And I have to say that in my years of profession, I've been a local president of a local association. I've also served as a district four trustee, I mean a district four, yes, district four trustee. And when we had district for student uh, advisors, I also served in that position. So needless to say, Esther always had a lot to talk about. We always had a lot to talk about. I know that ADHJ was dear to her heart. And, if, and when I always spoke to students, I first told them the importance of being a member of their professional organization. And it was always such an honor to get to tell my students how I knew Dr. Esther Wilkins and that I knew her. So in her last years and in her recent transition, I was able to be there for her and with her. And I'm glad that she was my mentor for those amount of years.